Hello, my name is Michaela Blunt, and I'm going to be doing my semester uh, recap of Communications 163. Um, uh, a lot of the different theories and concepts uh, that I learned from the course came from um, the PowerPoint that Dr. Sharma has uh, shared with us, as well as our readings from our textbook, Persuasion, Social Influence, and Compliance Gaining um, by Gas and Cedar. Um, Anyways, so uh, a lot that I have learned through um, this course is ideas pertaining to social influence and attitude transformation. Um, so those are new things that have been exposed to me. Um, and I've gained a better understanding of the importance of social influence and um, attitude change in our community. So um, that was kind of through one of our assignments that we had to do, um, an observation. Um, and I did my observation in a... Um, a dental office. So I used kind of uh, some of the concepts that I learned in class and were able to identify uh, when people had them um, or were uh, displaying them. Um, in I, I've also learned um, the different uh, dimensions of everything and how everything could kind of be uh, put onto a scale. Um, and there are a number of uh, different implications that have to do with um, social influence that I was totally unaware of. Unaware of. Um, so one of the um, main takeaways uh, or one of the chapters that kind of uh, definitely caught my eye and that I took the most from and um, was the most intrigued by came from chapter three. So um, that chapter was entitled Attitudes and Consistency. Um, and this chapter kind of looked at persuasion from the perspective of um, enterprises and corporations. So, um, give me one sec. So uh, a cool thing that it kind of goes into detail on is um, the like apparel or clothing industry. And um, it talks about how when you're wearing those brands, you're kind of wearing the brand's personality. So I thought that was interesting. And then it made me take a look into the brands that I partake in and kind of what their, um, what their personality is and seeing if I bought into the brand because of the personality a little bit. So one of those brands would be uh, Lush. I definitely buy into um, their personality and being homegrown and giving um, equal, uh, equal opportunities for a lot of different people. Um, and that's one of the reasons I love shopping there. I love um, just kind of being in that environment. So it made me look at that too. Um, so, in the study of persuasion, the idea of attitude is crucial, and these attitudes can't be um, seen immediately, and they can't, they're also not something that are completely um, able to be um, measured. So we use different scales, but it's not on like a, a, a precise number system. Um, and they may, however, be inferred and assessed in different ways, like I said, the numbers, uh, the numbers scale. Um, and then um, the idea of reason action is a helpful and sensible approach for understanding how attitudes and intentions influence conduct. Uh, so uh, there are different things that lead into um, our, like a buyer's motive in like a enterprise. Um, and part of that is um, our attitudes as well as the, um, uh, the enterprise's attitudes and motives. Um, and then, um, to go into detail about one of the approaches, uh, the reasoned action approach theory describes how attitudes and, um, intentions influence action. So, um, this theory argues that intentions and conduct are related, but we now know that that, that isn't always the case. Um, so it kind of is case by case. So the more clear a goal is, the more um, probable it is that you will be able to find a limited collection of factors that can account for understanding one's ideas and attitudes um, in order to persuade, persuade others. Um, and, oh, in order to persuade them otherwise. So understanding behavioral ideas and attitudes and um, normative views and perceived behavioral um attitudes kind of help us uh, be able to control this and understand um, where this is all happening. 
Um, and then uh, I like the, the book's definition of attitudes because I feel like um, when we hear um, attitude, our first thought is like coming from the phrase, like don't have an attitude. And you're thinking about like your direct um, emotion that you could like perceive from the outside. And the book defines attitude as um, a psychological tendency that is expressed by evaluating a particular and entity with so with some degree of favor or disfavor so this is kind of um valuing the ends of the spectrum uh so it could be an attitude of like and an attitude of dislike and uh that's another scale that is in um this chapter as well and i know that i've kind of gone over my time uh but yeah that's basically kind of my biggest takeaway from uh this class and something i was able to put into my own life. So um, thank you for this semester and I hope you have a great Christmas of 2021.